Effect plugins. That's where the real fun starts. It's about reshaping your sounds and getting creative. Effect plugins generally don't produce sound on their own. Instead, they make changes to other sounds. Let's listen to some common ones. Clean. Reverb. Delay. Chorus. Low pass filter. Effect plugins are added through the mixer, where we have different inserts. But before anything else, we need to connect our sounds to these inserts. In the channel rack, you might have laid eyes on these boxes. These connect our sounds to the mixer. So this synth here. If we take the box next to it and drag it up to 3, it will be connected to insert 3 in the mixer. So if we now go back there and play it out, we can visually see the volume when it plays on that insert. Now let's add an effect plugin. Let's click the mixer insert. We add effects to the effect slots. If you can't see them, check this setting. If we click them, we get to add our effects. Let's add Fruity Reverb 2. Now the sound has a reverb. And we can click it to open it and make some adjustments. Tweaking the parameters. Like increasing the decay to give it a longer tail. Or increasing the wet signal. Increasing the level of the reverbed sound. Let's go back to the channel rack with F6. Anything else you send to insert 3 will also get that reverb effect we just added. So before... After. Now there is another way to send things to the mixer that can be good to know about. I'll add a new bongo sound here. Now make sure it's selected. And use Ctrl L. This automatically routes it to the next free spot in the mixer. Which will now be insert 1, since we went straight to number 3 before when we added the reverb. It also renames it. I'll add a quick fruity delay 2 here to get some echoes on it. Nice! You can also let FL Studio do the mixer routing for you. In the last video, we added an instrument by dragging it directly onto a track. With this method, FL Studio automatically routes it to an insert in the mixer. And renames it after it. This also works if you load your instruments by using the plus icon here. This keeps things organized. To the left in the mixer, we got two special inserts. This one is the master. Every sound in your song will pass through here. This means that every mixer insert is connected to it. You can see it visualized by clicking an insert and seeing these send links. Sounds that aren't yet routed to the mixer also go through the master. So any effect that you add to the master channel apply to your entire song. Effects on the master are commonly used to make some final adjustments, like a light equalizer or a compressor. Or go crazy and add some reverb. Or distortion. The current insert. This is an advanced feature and not necessary to start making songs. But it can be good to have an idea about what it's for. It mirrors whatever insert that you have selected in the mixer. If you like to use visualizer plugins, like FL Studio's own Wave Candy, this can be quite useful. Let's bring up an example. I've got this song with a bass line, chords and some drums. I could add the visualizer plugin to each separate insert, but it's a bit of work. Instead, I can add Wave Candy to the current track. and just click the insert that I want to visualize. Chords. And drums. Bass. So now you hopefully got an idea. There's a total of 76 effects in FL Studio, so quite a lot to experiment with. Have fun with it, and good luck!